Hey peeps, how you doing? How are you UK peeps coping with this heat? Jeez, oh, I'm melting. I haven't even got my lights on in this room today because I just didn't want to heat the room up anymore. <laughs> anyway, let me know when you're here, okay? Let me know that you are here. Uh, so we've got MTC training after this for our members. Um, so that will be fun. <laughs> We're going to just be super, super sweaty. But anyway, how are you guys doing? How's your weekend going so far? So today's mission, part of mission 500, what we're going to cover today is increasing your grip for your leg hooks, basically, okay? And how you can do that on and off the pole. Woo! Okay, I am literally just laying on the floor because I am melting. I'm melting. Let me know if you're here. Okay, it's quite nice. It's nice. I've obviously switched it up, so we're doing an evening uh, session. Usually I do these in the morning or in the afternoon. Uh, let me know if you prefer evenings. Uh, it's a little bit more trickier for me generally. Uh, depends who's home to be able to look after my little boy. But currently he is sleeping right now. Bless his heart. He's struggled with the heat today. He's been a bit, bit groggy. <laughs> like the rest of us. Bit groggy. <laughs> so let's talk about how you can increase the grip strength in your hooks okay when you hook your leg on the pole how you can increase the strength so you can so the the main muscle being used in gripping the pole for a hook is your hamstrings so your hamstrings are the back of your thigh muscles okay so the front of your thigh is your quads and the back of your thighs are your hamstrings so anything where there's a curl, so when you bend the leg, curl, um, that's going to be working your hamstring. So if you can get some resistance on any exercise where you have to curl up the legs, you're going to be strengthening up the hamstrings, okay? Um, so yeah, so let's go through some exercises that you can do. Uh, I, uh, I've i got a little bit of a range of equipment really. I'm going to be using a ankle weight, although it was a quite a heavy ankle weight. I think they're four kilogram ankle weights. They are beasts. Um, I've got a, a dumbbell, I've got a dumbbell there, it's actually quite light, that one's five kilograms, but I would suggest going heavier uh, for the exercise that we're going to do, and then I've just got like a standard resistance band as well. Oh, and I'm going to be using a Fitball, okay? Um, the Fitball exercise is my favourite actually, because it's just so different, and uh, I love how unstable it is. Uh, so let's go through that one first, because that is that is my favourite exercise you can do. So let me show you what it looks like, talk you through it. And if you have a Fitball, so many of you have probably had Fitballs that are now like, I don't know, in the shed, in the garage you know, under the stairs somewhere, deflated, not being used. Get them out, oh my God. If you join our membership, there are a couple of Fitball workouts that you can do, okay? And I love it, it's so much fun. Anyway, so, grab onto your Fitball. So this is what it looks like. on the ball okay so it's not here necessarily so I have got my calves on I'm going to dig my heels into the ball so I'm going to tuck my pelvis under to start with okay so I'm going to push that lower spine into the floor and as I push my heels down and I thrust my hips up okay so I'm in this position I'm going to stay in this position so I'm pushing those heels down and now I'm going to bring those heels towards my butt and I keep those hips pushed up so I can do a hip bridge and then I lengthen the legs back out, but I keep the hips up. So squeeze in, lengthen out. Squeeze in, lengthen out. Oh my God. Please, please do them. And uh, let me know how they feel, because oh, it's challenging, but fun. <laughs> do love the football for that. Um, and then you can always do like one leg at a time to really like challenge you if you wanted to. You can actually do this without a fit ball, but you would need something to be able to slide your feet on, if that makes sense, and if I can do it on this floor, get away ball. So from here, so you do the same thing, tuck, start with your pelvis tucked under, you can push the hips up, slide the feet away, but keep pushing the uh, heels down, hips up, and slide your heels in, it's a lot harder on this floor. So I like the ball. 
But oh my god, it gets them good. Okay, do it, do it, do it. So that is the football exercise to work on your hamstrings to really increase that strength. Okay, for that uh, hook. So if you're feeling like you can't hold your hooks very well, you want to work on these. The other exercises that you can do, I did touch upon uh, this one the other day. I can't remember what one it was and why. I can't remember what day it was. One of the days. You may recognise this. So you can use a resistance band or a dumbbell for this. And we're basically going to place our legs through the bands and then we're going to lay on my front. And I'm going to keep one foot pressing down on that band. Can you see here, yeah? And then I'm going to bring the other heel up. So sometimes I like to just twist it around my foot so it doesn't actually move too much. So I'm going to bring the heel up. I'm pushing the hips into the floor and then straightening my legs. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. Getting that heel as close to your butt as possible and then lengthen away. And with all exercises, it doesn't necessarily mean you just have to do a curl down, curl down. You can actually challenge yourself. So you may want to try and curl for three, for example. So we're going to go up, one, two, three, and maybe down for three. Three, two, one, okay? You may want to come up quickly and hold for three seconds. Two, one, and down. And again, squeeze. Three, two, one, and down. Except, does that make sense? So you can spice it up. It's not a case of just bending the legs, challenge yourself. You may even want to challenge yourself to see how, how long you can hold it for, okay? So of course, do both legs. And the same, um, you can do the same exercise with a dumbbell. So stand the dumbbell up. You're gonna place your feet either side of the dumbbell. Whoop. Get out the way, help. Okay, look. Get up there. Okay, <laughs> better with trainers on. And then you can lift the dumbbell up and we'll, again push the hips into the floor, squeeze the heels towards your butt. Lengthen down, back up, down and up. And again, work on holding, work on doing reps. Okay, do it for different times. Maybe go up for five seconds, hold for five seconds, lower for five seconds. Does that make sense? Okay. So another one you can do, although it's probably not my favourite, it's not one I do very often, is still use your resistance band again, put it around your legs, okay, and then from here you're just going to try and bring your heels towards your butt. So same thing, we can lay down, and then I'm just going to bring my heel, wrap it around my heel, and then I'm just going to bring the heel up towards the butt, lower down, squeeze up. This is better to do if you've got a really tough resistance band, this one's too easy, I'm not really feeling it. Okay, so I do plenty of exercises. Anyway, so those are what I would recommend that you do on the pole, particularly the football. The other exercises that you can do on the pole, again, is working on that strength and holding. So simple things like uh, your beginner ballerina, working on holding, just chill out in it, right? <laughs> see, challenge yourself, how, how long can you hold this position? So, if I move you up so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, put you. Didn't use my thing, did I? Oh dear. Come back. How do I turn you back? There we are. <laughs> okay, let me just grab that dumbbell. I'll pop you up on there. Okay. Alrighty. Are we good? Just about. So, you're, you can always work on uh, ballerinas. So we're going to hook the leg, and when you work on hooking the leg, so if we're working not only on strengthening to be able to hold the moves, you also want to make sure you're hooking properly. So when I say hook properly, you want to make sure that your leg is straight and you're pushing the back of your knee onto the pole first before you bend. So many people will just bend their, like lift their leg, bend, and then try and place it on, and then not be right in that knee pit. That's going to be number one, like when it comes to pole and hooking, okay? When you need to hook behind the knee, push the back of the knee on first, then squeeze. This will come for like the inverts if you're doing an outside leg hand. Push the back of the knee on first. Now, if you're trapping your hands, there's another reason for that. Check tomorrow's video out because we're gonna cover Gemini tomorrow or outside leg hand. So, push the back of the knee on first, squeeze the heel towards your back, and really think about squeezing the heel towards your back. Can you squeeze any harder? 
squeeze, 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 then you're going to lean away, and then you're going to release, and you're going to squeeze as hard as you can, and you're just going to hold. <laughs> Grab your phone, read a book, <laughs> squeeze, okay? If you're finding it quite easy, move this outside foot in, and hold. You might want to hold something more heavier, hold the weight, that will challenge your obliques, love this exercise for obliques, but it does work on unhooking that leg, and the more we can focus on squeezing that heel to the more you, like, like, don't think about it, the more the leg will start to unhook, and we're just going to be relying on skin grip. We want to squeeze, 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 squeeze as hard as you can, okay? So doing that exercise will help you, and really getting that, again, I can't reiterate that enough, push the back of the knee onto the pole for any hooks. So another one that's not necessarily a hook, is, I call it ballet hook, is where you face the pole, and you place the calf around the front, so again, this one can work your hamstrings, because what you're going to do is you're going to lean away from the pole, and then you're going to use that leg to pull your body upright. So lean away, lean away, lean away, hold, see if you can hold for 10 seconds, then pull your body in without using your arms, lean away, lean away, lean away, lean away, lean away, squeeze, hold, you're going to still work up those hamstrings. Does this all make sense to you guys? Okay, so those are going to be my top tips for you. Those floor exercises, those uh, ones on the pole, you don't need to do anything complicated like doing any crazy, like more advanced tricks to increase your leg grip. I don't even recommend you doing that. Um, if you just want, you know, there's no point tying yourself out doing other tricks to work on the hamstring strength and the grip, okay? You can work on that all from the floor. Uh, so does that make sense? So hopefully that'll help you, give you some ideas to help build that hamstring strength to be able to hold these moves. And like I said, tune in tomorrow for outside leg hang, okay, or AKA Gemini, uh, or I call it Gemini, okay? I know some of you call it an inside leg hang or Scorpio. Um, so come, and, come to that one, because we'll cover like how you can work on getting that leg hook if you are like getting close to your hands, if you're hooking over your hands, how we can avoid that, what you need to do, um, and how you can practice, okay? Right, go and enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you tomorrow, uh, same time tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll schedule it. Make sure you, you know, interested, and then you'll get the notification. And uh, yeah, alrighty, hopefully it's helpful. Please let me know if it's helpful, actually, just comment below, uh, so I know that, know that you're here, <laughs> that I know this, you know, you're getting some benefit from this, I'd like to hear from you guys, all right, so I told you that was going to be short and sweet, go and enjoy the rest of the weekend, have some ice cream, and I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> bye!